There's something deeply wrong with the interstellar visitor heading toward Earth right now. On December 19th, just days from now, an object from another star system will make its closest pass to our planet. And it's doing something that comets aren't supposed to do. Something that has one of Harvard's top astrophysicists asking questions that make a lot of people uncomfortable. This thing has a tail pointing directly at the sun, not away from it, toward it. And it's been doing this for months, even though every law of physics says it shouldn't be possible. Subscribe to Space Aquarius and I'm going to show you exactly what's happening up there. Why the world's leading scientists can't agree on what this means and why some of them think we need to be paying very close attention to what happens next. Let me give you the full picture here because this story has been building for months. Back on July 1st, 2025, astronomers discovered something extraordinary. An object was racing through our solar system at over 130,000 miles per hour, and its trajectory proved it came from another star system entirely. They named it 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor we've ever detected. Now, this isn't some tiny rock. We're talking about an object roughly seven miles wide. That makes it the largest interstellar visitor ever recorded, dwarfing the famous Oumuamua, which was only about 1,000 feet across. When scientists pointed their telescopes at it, they found something fascinating. This thing is covered in pristine water ice mixed with organic molecules, the building blocks of life. And here's what's remarkable. This water appears to have frozen onto the comet as far back as 7 billion years ago, well before Earth even existed. It swung past Mars on October 3rd, came closest to the Sun on October 29th, and now it's heading our way. On December 19th, it'll pass Earth at about 170 million miles. Perfectly safe, but close enough for our best telescopes to get an unprecedented look at material from another star system. But here's where things get strange. When you look at a normal comet, you see a tail streaming away from the sun. That's basic physics, solar radiation, and the solar wind push gas and dust particles away from the sun, creating that classic tail we all recognize. But 3I Atlas has been showing something completely different. It has what scientists call an anti-tail, a bright glow extending from the comet toward the sun, not away from it. Now, anti-tails aren't entirely unknown. Sometimes when Earth crosses a comet's orbital plane at just the right angle, we can see what looks like an anti-tail. But that's just a perspective trick, an optical illusion that lasts for a few hours, maybe a day at most. 3I Atlas has been showing this anti-tail continuously since July 21st, when Hubble first photographed it. That's nearly five months. It was visible when the comet was approaching the sun from 277 million miles away. It was still there on November 30th, when the comet was receding from the sun at 178 million miles. And the latest images from December 13th show it's still there. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb put it bluntly, The anti-tail of 3I Atlas is not a perspective effect. It is a real physical jet, with a glow extending from 3I Atlas toward the sun. So what's actually happening here? This is where it gets interesting because the world's top scientists are split on what this means. Theory 1, the ice fragment hypothesis. A.V. Loeb and his colleague Eric Quito published two papers suggesting the anti-tail is made of tiny ice particles being shed from the sun-facing side of 3I Atlas. Here's how it would work. As the comet rotates, the side facing the sun heats up and breaks off small fragments of ice. These fragments are so small, they evaporate before solar radiation can push them back significantly. So they never form a conventional tail. They just create this glow pointing toward the sun. Think of it this way. Normal comet tails are made of tiny dust particles that get swept away by sunlight like leaves in a strong wind. But if you're shedding larger chunks, even just slightly larger, they're too heavy to be pushed away quickly. They hang around on the sun-facing side, creating this unusual glow. Theory 2. The Alien Probe Hypothesis Now, Loeb published a third paper with a more controversial idea. He suggests the anti-tail could be a swarm of objects lagging behind 3I Atlas because the main object is experiencing non-gravitational acceleration, meaning it's being pushed by something other than gravity alone. And here's the thing. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has confirmed that 3I Atlas is showing non-gravitational acceleration. It's moving in ways that gravity alone can't explain. 
Loeb points out that the object's trajectory is statistically unusual. There's less than a 0.2% chance, that's 1 in 500, that its path would be so perfectly aligned with Earth's orbit around the Sun. And there's less than a 1 in 20,000 chance it would pass so close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter by random chance. He also notes that 3i Atlas reached its closest point to the Sun when Earth was on the opposite side, meaning we couldn't observe it during its most critical moment. If you were designing a probe to study our solar system while minimizing detection, that's exactly the kind of trajectory you choose. Loeb invokes something called the Dark Forest Hypothesis, the idea that advanced civilizations might hide their presence to avoid hostile contact. Could 3i Atlas be a disguised probe, using its size and comet-like behavior as camouflage? But most scientists aren't buying it. Professor David Jewett, one of the world's leading comet experts, has a much simpler explanation. He says, it's ejecting dust particles toward the sun because the day side of the nucleus is the hot side. All these things are consistent with a comet nucleus of typical size or smaller, sublimating in sunlight and blowing out dust particles. Nothing really shocking there. European Space Agency scientists agree. They point out that many solar system comets show similar dust tails made of solid particles that behave differently from gas. This is just standard comet physics playing out on an object from another star system. Penn State astronomer Jason Wright went even further, pointing out that astronomers have observed similar sunward enhancement in other comets before. Large dust grains that don't get swept up by the solar wind naturally accumulate on the sun-facing side. It's unusual, but it's not unprecedented. And here's the critical point. 3i Atlas is behaving more and more like a normal comet every day. It's showing the dust jets and faint coma that fuzzy cloud around the nucleus that we expect when sunlight warms an icy body. The missing volatile gases like cyanogen that had people worried? Well, the comet is still too far out and too cold for those gases to appear. As it gets closer and heats up more, scientists expect to see exactly those emissions. So why is Loeb still pushing the alien probe idea? Here's what makes this situation so fascinating. If 3i Atlas is just a normal comet, and the evidence increasingly suggests it is, then it actually makes our previous interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, seem even stranger. Remember Oumuamua? It showed absolutely no signs of outgassing. No tail, no coma, no dust, nothing. It just tumbled through our solar system in complete silence, accelerating in ways that couldn't be explained by sunlight alone unless it was impossibly thin, like a sheet of paper hundreds of meters across. 3i Atlas and the second interstellar visitor, Borisov, both behaved like comets. They followed the pattern we expect. But Umamua broke every rule, and we still don't have a satisfactory, natural explanation for what it was. So here's the real question. Is Loeb wrong about 3i Atlas, or is he asking the right questions about the wrong object? Think about this. We've now detected three interstellar objects in just eight years. Statistically, that means there could be thousands of these things passing through our solar system every year that we're just not seeing. Most of them are probably natural, comets and asteroids ejected from other star systems. But if even 1% of them were artificial probes sent by other civilizations to explore the galaxy, we'd never know unless we looked carefully at every single one. And we know this is possible because we're doing it ourselves. Voyager 1 and 2 have left our solar system. Pioneer 10 and 11 are on their way out. In a few million years, there'll be interstellar visitors to some other star system. If we're sending probes out, why wouldn't other civilizations do the same? So let me answer the question in the title. Why is it dangerous that 3i Atlas still has an anti-tail? It's not dangerous because the object itself poses any threat. It's passing 170 million miles away. That's nearly twice the distance to the sun. There's zero chance of impact. The danger is that we're not paying enough attention. NASA held a press conference about 3i Atlas on November 19th. You know what they didn't mention? The anti-tail. They didn't discuss the mystery. They didn't address the unusual trajectory. They presented it as a straightforward comet and moved on. When Oumuamua passed through in 2017, we had about 40 days to study it before it faded from view. We missed our chance to get detailed data, and now it's gone forever. We'll never know what it really was. We have a second chance right now. On December 19th, during a new moon with perfect viewing conditions, 3i Atlas will be at its closest point to Earth. This is our best opportunity to gather data on an object that has traveled for potentially millions of years from another star system. And here's the urgency. 3i Atlas recently changed color from green to gold. 
When another comet, C-2025 K1 Atlas, made that same color shift, it started fragmenting apart shortly afterward. If 3I Atlas breaks up as it approaches Jupiter over the next few months, we'll lose our chance to study an intact interstellar object. The danger isn't the object itself. The danger is our complacency. The danger is assuming we understand something just because it looks familiar. The danger is not asking the hard questions while we still have time to find answers. I'm not saying 3I Atlas is an alien spacecraft. The evidence suggests it's probably a natural comet with some unusual characteristics, but probably isn't the same as certainly. What we know for sure is this. It's the largest interstellar object ever detected. It's carrying pristine water and organic molecules from another star system. It's showing an anti-tail that persists far longer than any perspective effect should. It's on a statistically improbable trajectory, and it's experiencing acceleration that gravity alone can't explain. Avi Loeb said something in his recent blog post that stuck with me. By recognizing anomalies, we can learn something new. By ignoring them, we remain ignorant. That's the real lesson here. Whether 3I Atlas is a comet, a probe, or something we haven't even imagined yet, it's teaching us that the universe is stranger and more complex than our textbooks suggest. We live in an era where interstellar visitors are no longer theoretical. They're real, they're here, and they're giving us a chance to study material and maybe even technology from beyond our solar system. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the follow-up coverage as new data comes in over the next few weeks. And drop a comment below. Do you think this is just a comet? Or is there something more going on here? I genuinely want to hear your perspective. And finally, share this video with someone who would appreciate it. Maybe a friend who's into astronomy or someone who loves a good mystery because the next interstellar visitor might not be as patient as this one. And we need to be ready.